Costco is back with another Costco Pokemon exclusive and this time it's the three pack stacking tins. Now these have been out for a while already in the States and there's already gonna be some notable differences. The first one immediately is these tins have uh, different Pokemon and different designs on them than the American version. I'll probably have a picture up for you on the screen somewhere. And the biggest difference is the pack selection in every tin. The American version had Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, and Brilliant Stars. Pretty good pack selection because of the Evolving Skies. In the Canadian version, we're about to find out. I actually don't know what's in here, but we're about to see. All I do know is that there is no Evolving Skies in the Canadian version. Now, before we head into the pack openings, the comment question of the day is actually going to be not Pokemon related. I want you guys to let me know down below what's your favorite Costco food from the Costco cafeteria. And while you're down there you might as well like and subscribe if you found this video helpful with our first tin we have the fire stacking tin you see charizard score bunny del fox perhaps a different evolution of it a victini and that's it so once we pop this open we are gonna see it quite a lot of empty space so in the canadian version i like how they made this such a mystery in the canadian version our pack selection is okay we got chilling rain lost origin and lost origin so two lost origins with a chilling rain honestly not that bad but of course the value isn't quite there compared to the american version due to no evolving skies and every tin is gonna come with a coin as well we have the score bunny coin i'm gonna assume that every tin has the exact same coin in it we might as well just open up the tins one by one, so let's go with Chilling Rain first since it's the only one in its lonesome. I haven't opened Chilling Rain in a while. I think maybe the last time I personally opened Chilling Rain was when Costco had those two packs with Chilling Rain in them. It was the ETB along with the like medium-sized little window tins. Uh, so it's nice to see some Chilling Rain again back in my hands. I definitely don't have a lot of hits from this set. Uh, this set is littered with alt arts, and I don't think I have any of them if I remember correctly. So why don't we keep it the same? <laughs> Who needs hits from Chilling Rain when you have two packs of Lost Origin? I think I've surprisingly opened quite a respectable amount of Lost Origin by my standards. Uh, fun fact, I believe the first ever packs I opened for Pokemon uh, when I started collecting again was Lost Origin. I think I bought a Lost Origin ETB from London Drugs when they had like a 20% sale. Uh, London Drugs, not a bad store to go to if you're in Canada for some Pokemon product because they do pretty consistently have sales on their Pokemon products and we are oh a hollow Gengar not bad so last pack already for our first fire tin uh, you'd think we'd get a fire energy but so far all we have is a dark energy and a v-star card i do put my v-star cards aside because i use them for my stream i i uh i write on it to label things so semi last pack magic with the first tin before we head over to the next one can we get at least one hit here i have no idea what the hit rate is i haven't watched much videos on these stacking tins so I don't know if people are quite pleased or displeased with the rates, but you guys know my Costco luck has never been anything special. And for the first tin, we are walking away with a regular rare Ariados. Now for the second tin, we have a fighting one. We have the Lycanroc, the Cubone, the Mian Shao or Fu, and the Galarian Surfetched. And might as well show what's inside just to make sure everything is the same for every tin. I see a lost origin in there oh the coins are different okay look this one has an eevee coin and the other one had score bunny so now i'm actually kind of curious as to what the other tin will have coin wise so we have one chilling rain and two lost origin let's start it off with a chilling rain and since there was a cubone on that tin and uh, are you guys familiar with the cubone lore like when you check it on the pokedex it talks about how it wears the skull of its like dead mother it's pretty morbid but it has me thinking like does every cubone have that lore does every cubone mother just die at birth and the cubone is just left to fend for itself and have it takes a long time for a skull to like become a skull you know what i mean things got to like deteriorate off of it and stuff so like i don't know man it just had me thinking and it's kind of weird how 
<laughs> how that just happens to like every cubone so chilling rain is still being a chilling pain in fact the entire video so far has been a pain we have yet to hit something oh i almost got into the new card trick muscle memory but we got the water energy so far no fighting energy so we're not getting any of the same energies of the as the tin markings which obviously doesn't mean anything at all but what would be cool is a hit and oh you ask and you shall receive the drapeon v star did anybody actually use drapeon v star in the tcg drapeon v obviously was used as a hardcore mew counter but i don't think anyone ever bothered to evolve it into a v star but then again, I'm not an expert, so I don't know. But what is cool is that we finally got our first hit. This is the last pack of the second tin. We'll see if we get something here, because so far we're only one out of five. Back-to-back -back water energies leading into the Luminion. Machoke, Mirage Gate, Spinarak, Finneon. Okay, Blipbug, Inkay, Porygon, the Reverse Manek Trick. Yes, back-to-back -back hits. It's a Fuller Trainer. We got the Iskan. Hanging out at the beach, there's probably a Finneon and a Luminion somewhere in that water. With our final tin, and arguably the cooler one, despite the fire tin having Charizard, the dark tin has Guzzlord, Zorua, Galarian, Obstagoon, and the Umbreon. I honestly don't know much about Guzzlord, but the dude looks cool. <laughs> It is confirmed that every tin has a different coin, at least per package. So I was wrong, assuming that every tin had a had a score bunny coin, but I was right when I was when I said every tin would have the same pack selection, Chilling Rain and 2 Lost Origin. Now with our last chance of Chilling Rain, can we get one hit? I honestly would sacrifice the two Lost Origin packs if we could get a decent Chilling Rain hit here. There's your code card. And we got that Metal Energy. We got the Flaffy. Come on, Chilling Rain. Cast Form. Ladyba. Golette. For Foo. Cast Form again. The Reverse Cast Form. No way did I just get three Cast Forms in this pack. And the regular Rare Zangoose. Chilling Rain not coming through. However, Lost Origin did come through in that second tin. Let's see if our luck continues. I see a little Apom action in there, and you guys see a little code card for you to grab. Second to last pack of the entire video, back-to-back -back metal energies, but do we get back-to-back -back lost origin luck? We got the Lickitung, the Growlithe, the Reverse Nuzleaf, and the regular rare Bufalant last pack magic. I don't know if it's just me or if all the tins are gonna be like this. I wish I could afford to do bigger sample sizes for you guys. Who knows what the future holds? Maybe these videos pop up enough where I can buy more of said product. Not too long ago, I uh, I bought two of those Crown Zenith GameStop exclusive boxes and they were very expensive for the number of packs they come in. Uh, and I regretted buying two due to the price, but maybe one day we'll reach a point where we don't have to worry about the price, right guys? And we got the reverse horsey, say it ain't so, the regular rare magnetric. So out of nine packs out of the entire stacking tin package we walked away with a drapeon v star and a full art trainer iscan that came from the same stacking tin so there you guys have it there's your Canadian version of the Costco tin. If you guys are always on the lookout for Costco products, make sure to like and subscribe because you know I'm always going to be covering it as soon as I can. We do have videos coming out every Monday, so don't forget to click right here to watch a previous video and click right here to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next week. Bye.